Liquid butane is an excellent solvent for essential oil. It does not dissolve chlorophyll, so the resulting oil is honey colour and not green. There are many closed cycle extractors that do not waste butane, but these are complicated and expensive. For my small requirement, I use a total loss butane system. Korean butane is only one dollar a can here. I have not smelt any macaptans in the butane and it does not leave any residue. Sanitary fittings were used to build the extractor. They can be bought from eBay or AliExpress. The smaller tube was packed loosely with 16 grams, which is half an ounce, of buds and the whole extractor, including two cans of butane, kept in the freezer for a day before use. Condensation should be wiped off to prevent water dripping into the liquid butane. A layer of frost quickly grows on the tube when the valve is open. The extraction must be performed outside as butane is highly inflammable. Make sure no flames or electrical equipment are around. The liquid butane is boiled off with a hot water bath, no naked flames. I use two cans of butane for 16 grams of plant material, although one can, one can is probably enough. Finally, I use pure acetone to concentrate the residue. It is much easier to work with than liquid butane. Here you can see the frost on the nozzle a deep Pyrex tray should be used as the liquid butane can splash. Condensation is now forming on the tube. The first can of butane is now about finished. Here the second can has been fitted. Much more ice has formed. Ice is also forming on the outside of the Pyrex dish. The equipment is all stainless steel and TIG welded. Here the butane is boiling on the hot water bath. A block of expanded polystyrene is used as an insulator. The liquid butane very soon boils off. Some plant material has passed through the stainless steel screen at the bottom of the tube, inside the tube, but it does not matter for my application.
Analytical reagent grade acetone is used to concentrate the residue as it is much easier to work with than liquid butane. This is my vacuum purging equipment. All traces of butane and acetone can be removed under vacuum. An oil trap must be used after the pump or some oil mist could contaminate the product. This pump costs $50. It does however give off some oil mist when vacuum is achieved. This glass bowl has a plastic lid and it deforms under vacuum but it does not leak or completely collapse. A larger glass bowl and Chinese silicone grease. You can see the lid move with the vacuum here. And this is oil mist, not smoke. Uh, not a bad vacuum from a single stage pump. 